welcome to RHM 360 Entertainment News. I'm your host, Electra. For this news feature and more things IRE, download the RHM 360 app for iPhone and Android devices. Follow us on social media. You can also visit irijam.com. In today's stories, Kanye West in hot water. Charlie Black takes over Israel. Shaggy preps the Blast Off Tour. And a birthday fit for the Bush Doctor. Kanye West ordered to pull Jamaica branded items from online store. Following his successful Sunday service at Emancipation Park in Kingston on Friday, Kanye West got himself in hot water with the Jamaican government. The American rapper and his 100-plus member masked choir all sported attire which carried the crest of the city of Kingston and other national symbols. His online store attached to the event was selling items including sweatshirts, t-shirts, and caps, all with similar images. Jamaicans were not here for that and blasted the rapper and the government. Culture and Entertainment Minister Olivia Babsy Grain subsequently confirmed in a statement that contact had been made with the vendor who had agreed to remove the items as no permission was given for these images to be used for commercial purposes. Charlie Blacks sells out two shows at the same venue in Israel. Dancehall artist Charlie Black wild fans in Tel Aviv, Israel last week. The promoters said it was the first time a dancehall artist was performing at the venue on back-to-back -back nights and doing so well. 3,500 on Sunday night and 5,000 fans the following night on the Monday. The venue is called Hagar 09. Charlie, who was performing in Israel for the third time, took to social media to thank his fans. Shaggy preps the Blast Off tour. Shaggy is in high gear as he prepares for what he calls a very special, one-of-a-kind tour, which is coming to arenas across Ireland and the UK next February and March. With a huge all-star lineup, the Blast Off tour features live performances from top U.S. artists Nelly, Salt and Pepper, Shaggy, Maya and Blue Cantrell. This is the first time a tour of this format has been done in the UK and will be coming to Cardiff, Nottingham, Leeds, Manchester, Newcastle, Glasgow, Liverpool, London and Birmingham throughout March while kicking off in Dublin on February 28th. A birthday fit for Bush Doctor. Reggae fans filled up inside Paul's Trafalgar Road venue on Saturday night to celebrate the birthday of reggae icon Peter Tosh who would have turned 75 on Saturday. Great performances came from Andrew Ken Booth, Warrior King, Richie Spice, and Dwayne Stevenson. Among the highlights was a performance by Bob Marley's son Kimani and Peter Tosh's son Andrew of songs from the Whalers catalog. Peter Tosh, Bob Marley, and Bunny Whaler made up the original Whalers. Early in the evening, Muta Baruka kept the vibes high with a selection of Tosh classics. That's how I wrap up for today. Thank you for watching RHM 360 Entertainment News. For this news feature and more things IRE, download the RHM 360 app for iPhone and Android devices. Follow us on social media. You can also visit arijam.com.